Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the 10th ranked UC Davis Aggies traveling to Cedar City, Utah to take on the 6th ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds in a Pac-10 matchup, which could decide the Pac-10 championship. Let me go ahead and share this in the Discord and then I'll go over all the scenarios for the possible Pac-10 winners, which will all be happening this week. I mean, after this game is San Diego and Sacramento State, I believe. So that game will also decide uh, who's going to be winning the Pac-10. Let's see, that is shared. We're golden. All right, let me get this off the screen real quick. These are our next two games. Take a look at the matchup for our current game. Go ahead and slap the like button for me, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to, uh, you know, get on one of our schools here in the FCS Dynasty. The link is in the description below. All right, now. The Pac-10, if I can find it here. Here are the scenarios, folks. Southern Utah will win the conference with a victory here in this game. San Diego will win the conference if the UC Davis Aggies beat Southern Utah today and the Thunderbirds, or the Toreros rather, win their game after this one, which will be tonight. Now UC Davis, they'll win if they beat Southern Utah and somehow Sacramento State upsets the San Diego Toreros. So those are the scenarios for the Pac-10 Championship. Obviously, the most likely one is just the Thunderbirds winning this game. Uh, but UC Davis, they need the most help. They need to win this game, and then they need Sacramento State to pull off the upset against San Diego. So let's get into this game, guys. Number ranked, uh, number 18 ranked offense for the UC Davis Aggies. Number one defense for Southern Utah. And the Thunderbirds have the seventh best offense. Aggies have the number two defense. So the top two defenses in the country facing off in this game what are your predictions put them in the chat guys let me know who you think is going to win this game and who's going to win the pack 10 all right let me get rid of my discord there we go we're gucci we're golden who we got in the chat who we got regear productions the demon darren van baron we saw him go off yesterday for the northern colorado bears to the tune of 358 yards receiving of course all right, let's get the uniforms. Marvin Joseph in the chat. Tyler Rocky, Hammer Jammer Jr. What's going on, brother? Southern Utah by seven. I like the prediction. I like it. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. All right, guys. Let's get it. I'm ready. Hope you guys are, too. Yeah, the uh, San Diego game, that'll be tonight when I get home from work. I don't have enough time today to sit here and mess around and do that one right after this one. Players to watch out for, Tyreek Taylor, of course, Harris Gurley for the Thunderbirds, 28 total touchdowns for the freshman, Nicholas Hall, almost 2,000 passing yards on the season. Thunderbirds will come out on offense first. So Utah's going to win and pinch the conference. I like it. I think it's going to be a good game, guys. And the Aggies kick it deep. Dave Green boots it to the end zone. And here is Prince McCutcheon. Oh, he is lit up. Let's take a look at the Thunderbird offense. Coming out on the field, Nicholas Hall, starting quarterback, Alex Dar. We'll see him at receiver as well. He's the backup quarterback. Cameron Matthews, Harris Gurley in the backfield with Brandon Lee at fullback. Jaquan Freeman and Prince McCutcheon at receiver. Dwayne Haynes at tight end. And Brandon Red is the junior right guard. Play action to start off. Wide open is Alex Starr. First down, Thunderbirds. Beautiful route by the quarterback. He 
beats Zachary Hyde in coverage. UC Davis defense looks like this. Andrew Jackson and Demarcus Webb at DN. Caleb Chubb at D-tackle. Linebacking core of Elijah Christian, Zachary Hyde, and Zeus Williams. In the secondary, Zach Pryor and RJ Simons at corner. Trainer the third at free safety. Everett Garrison and Jason Huntsberger are the strong safeties. Or, excuse me, the, yeah, they are strong safeties. Yes, I was correct. Listen to me, just questioning myself. All right, second down and 10. Imagine it ends in a tie. Listen, Hammer, this is college football, okay? Come on now. Yeah, you need to uh, you need to ditch the NFL and uh, start watching some college football, there, buddy. All right, third down and 15. After that play goes nowhere. Yeah, there hasn't been a tie in college football since the uh, early to mid 90s, I believe. Hall oh, trying to take off, and Nicholas Hall has the first down and then some inside the 40-yard line. What a run by the sophomore quarterback! Beautiful play. Ever been a regular season week with this much importance? No, sir. Literally two games back to back that decide the fate of a conference. But the Broncos. Come on, Hammer. Dude, listen to that sentence. Come on, man. Hall gonna go with the quarterback draw. Gets maybe a yard. Watch more college football. It's good for your health. Yes, sir. College football is the best football. Hall in the shotgun. Lee to his right. And Harris Gurley to his left. And Hall will look to throw it. He is hit as he throws. And finds Alex Dar again inside the 25-yard line. First down, Southern Utah. Did I say the game is at midnight? No, Tyler. No. Absolutely not. The San Diego game will be after I get home from work. So, a little after 9, Eastern time. And here's Hall on the option. Harris Gurley gets it inside the 15-yard line. The Colorado Buffs are never on TV in Cali. Hammer, you don't always have to go for Colorado, my guy. Come on now. Pick an actually, you know, a good team. <laughs> Hall under center, second down and three. Two tight end set. And they'll go play action. Hall setting up the throw towards the end zone. Deflected away, not a good throw. Texas high school football is the best. Come on now, Jay. Texas high school football is good. I will give you that. But it's nowhere near college football. All right, goal line set. Jaquan Freeman in at fullback on third and three. And they will go play action. Freeman's wide open at the top of the screen, and instead he throws an incomplete pass, and the special teams will take the field for a field goal try. Give you a team? <laughs> well, what kind of team do you want, Hammer? You want East Coast, West Coast? You want Central? What do you want? North, South? 31-yard field goal try for Johnson. Kick is up, and it is good. Thunderbirds on the board first. Everton plays 67-yard drive. Two and a half minutes off the clock. We will see the Aggies offense take the field here in a moment. We can agree to disagree. Yes, we can, Jay. Yes, we can. I'm not knocking high school football in Texas. I'm saying it's good. But I love college football. Nothing will ever beat it. You want the buffs? Oh my goodness, Hammer. Come on, bro. Colorado hasn't won anything since the year I was born, my guy. And back to return. Who we got? Squan Brown gets the return. Up to the, what, 25-yard line? Yes, sir. Is the offense. Owen Black, quarterback. Ashley Jackson will back him up. Lito Lozano, Tyreek Taylor, and White Geddes. 
at halfback. Devon Brown, Sam Gallon, Travis Owens at receiver. And the true freshman tight end, Nicholas Warner. Oh my goodness, Tyreek Taylor just got absolutely lit up. Well, Hammer, most of the college football games this season that I've been watching have been streamed on YouTube. So, you can pretty much watch whatever you want on YouTube. You could also pay, I think it's $50 a month for YouTube TV, which has like every single college football game ever on it. And here's Lito Lozano, gets a couple yards up the middle. Let's take a look at the Southern Utah defense. If I can find it. Where is it? There it is. Jericho Stevens and Audrey Ann at DN. Adam Joseph at D tackle. Logan Tyler at middle linebacker. CJ Mullins out for the season, so we'll see Bill Stevens and Manuel Wise at free safety. And Bryce King at strong safety. Here's Owen Black up the middle. Quarterback draw first down and then some. And he is met by Bryce King at the 42 yard line. Colorado or Buffalo Bulls. Come on, bro. I formation set. Triple option. They hand it off. That's Taylor. Picks up five more yards. That's money. <laughs> That's true. But I, I do believe you get a, a free month to start. Which would be good for you since I believe the Pac-10 is starting to play now, actually. This week, I think. Second down and five. Halfback draw. Tyreek Taylor. First down, Aggies. Yeah, every single Hurricanes game that I've watched this season, I've just watched a stream on YouTube. So, been pretty lucky. Black looking to throw, hit as he throws, deep shot, and it's caught! And that's Nicholas Warner, the freshman! No, it's not! Who is that? Was that number 83? Oh, Owen Black has injured his ankle on the play for the Aggies on the touchdown pass. I don't even know who got the touchdown. I couldn't quite see the number. It was either 83 or 86. I'm not 100% sure. 47-yard touchdown pass. Now, Ashley Jackson will take the field at quarterback for the Aggies unless Black can return rather quickly. And it is 7-3, folks. Never grew up with it, so you're not really attached to any teams or players. That's all good. I mean, when I watch the Hurricanes, like, I know all the players and everything, so when I watch NFL highlights and stuff, I just go and watch the highlights just to see what other Hurricanes are doing. Like, I'm not even really attached to any teams anymore for the NFL. I just don't care that much. And there is the kickoff. Jaquan Freeman on for the return. Freeman up the middle to the 23-yard line. We'll see the Thunderbird offense take the field again. They got a field goal their last time out. Owen Black out four weeks with a high ankle sprain. That is a huge loss. He's done for the rest of the regular season. There's Dwayne Haynes on the reception, the true freshman tight end. Picks up nine yards. So we're going to be seeing Ashley Jackson for the rest of this game and the rest of the regular season, which is one more game for the Aggies after this one, I believe. No, actually, this is their 10th game, so they have a couple more games after that. Harris Gurley up the middle. Does he get the first down? Zeus Williams stops him. And he stopped him short. Third and inches coming up. The Panthers are meh. Yeah, I mean, it's not even really that they're bad, you know? I've just steadily lost interest in the NFL over the last handful of years. Goal line set for the Thunderbirds. Hall's going to throw it. He's hit as he throws, finds his man. That's Brandon Lee, the fullback. First down up to the 49-yard line. Got ourselves a good game right now. I'm loving it. Owen Black gets hurt after throwing his final touchdown of the regular season. Might see him back for a bowl game. Hall, quarterback draw, and he is stopped after maybe one yard by Caleb Chubb. You 
feel the same way, Jay. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, it just hasn't kept my interest anymore. Hall looking to throw. Now he's going to take off instead. Nicholas Hall gets a first down. Breaks a couple tackles in the secondary. You love to see it. He's got 930 yards rushing this season with eight touchdowns. Yeah, I've, I've been watching the Hurricanes since I was four years old, so that was the first game I ever watched. Miami versus UCLA. They lost to the Bruins that game, but... Watching Ray Lewis run around the field, just, you know, destroying everybody. And here's Hall connecting with Prince McCutcheon around the 20-yard line. Another nice throw and completion. That ends the first quarter. Aggies on top, 7-3. But they do have an uphill battle with their new quarterback coming in, Ashley Jackson, for the rest of this game. Joshua Williams in the chat. What's going on, brother? Got a couple nice tackles so far. Here's Hall on the read option. And Nicholas Hall is dropped at the 13-yard line. Nice run. At the end of the season, will I post all the players that declare for the EFL draft? Of course I will, sir. Of course. Read option. He's going to be stuffed this time. Oh, my goodness. Trainer the third. And now Nicholas Hall has injured his shoulder on the play. Oh, my goodness. Both starting quarterbacks injured in this first half. Hopefully Hall can return for Southern Utah, though. And Alex Dar will be filling in for him at the quarterback spot now. Which then leaves a void in the receiving core. Eight plays, 60-yard drive over two minutes off the clock. Southern Utah here is Alex Dar at quarterback. Third and six. They're going to hand it off to the fullback, and they're going to settle for a field goal again to make it a one-point ball game. Caleb Chubb, 110 tackles in his career, 20 sacks. Oh, my goodness. There's already enough drama in this game with this game meaning so much. And now both quarterbacks injured. Johnson, 9 of 9 on the season. Can he make it a perfect 10 of 10? The kick is up, and it is good. It's seven to six here in Cedar City, Utah. Aggies still on top, clinging to that one-point lead. We will be seeing Ashley Jackson for the rest of this game at quarterback. Marvin, I'm just going to completely ignore that joke, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thunderbird set to boot it. From the goal line, Juan Brown up the middle gets up to the 22 or 23 yard line. And Ashley Jackson will take the field. That should be under center. High formation set with Tyreek Taylor at fullback. And she'll look to throw on her first play of the game. And almost picked off by Bryce King. He just jumped right in front of that route. Intended for Brown. Now second and ten. Two months too soon for that joke, but it works. It does work. And off Tyreek Taylor up the middle. Breaks a couple tackles. Look out. Tyreek Taylor up past the 40. Good run for the junior halfback. He's got 32 yards in the game on four carries. So I mentioned before, Pac-10 is up for grabs today. Aggies need a win here, and they need San Diego to lose later on tonight to Sacramento State. If Southern Utah wins this game, they are Pac-10 champions. And they're going to hand this off again. Tyreek Taylor gets a couple more yards. Second and eight coming up. Hall will return just a bruised shoulder for the sophomore quarterback for Southern Utah. So that's good news for them. Jackson in the shotgun. High snap. 
And quick throw right side. Lito Lozano gets it. Maybe six yards on the reception. Third down and short coming up. And Jackson will come out in the goal line set. Fullback in motion to the right side. Tyreek Taylor at halfback. They hand it off to the big fella, and he is stuffed. Audrey Ann and Adam Joseph combine on the stop, and the Aggies will punt it away on fourth and two. What if UC Davis wins? If UC Davis wins this game, they need Sacramento State to beat uh, San Diego later tonight, and then the Aggies will win the Pac-10. Durbin punts it away. Oh my goodness, that was caught. What in the world is Bryce King doing? Oh my goodness gracious. There was about nine people around him. And Nicholas Hall is back in the game at quarterback for the Thunderbirds. So good news. Nicholas Warner in the chat. What's going on, buddy? And there is encroachment. Aggies, of course, are the defending Pac-10 champions. They went to the Rose Bowl last season. Lost a heartbreaker to the Montana Grizzlies. Paul looking to throw. Oh, quarterback draw up the middle. Zeus Williams meets him in the lane and says, no, 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 good sir. Have a seat, young man. Second down and four, just a pickup of one for the quarterback. Shotgun set, Harris Gurley at halfback. I haven't seen him a whole lot in this game, maybe one or two carries so far. And Hall looking to throw, has his man open, and that's Alex Dar again. And another first down for him, his third reception of the game. All of them have moved the chains. Doing your homework for UC Davis right now. Feels bad. Feels real bad, man. <laughs> Hall, 6 of 8, 93 yards so far. Andrew Jackson in the zone at defensive end for UC Davis. And direct snap. Harris Gurley, he's dropped, but there's a face mask on the play. That's a personal foul and a first down. Big Geo. Jay Balmer in the chat. What's going on, buddy? And that was the freshman safety, Jason Huntsberger, with the face mask. That is unfortunate. This is a good game. Yes, sir. It has been so far. All looking to throw it out of the shotgun, and nobody's home on that pass intended for Prince McCutcheon. Things up second down and ten. Same formation for Southern Utah. You see Davis out here in the 4-3. And they'll hand it off up the middle. Brandon Lee, the fullback, gets a few yards. And that's going to bring up third down and eight. They're not in field goal range just yet. Got to get to around the 35-yard line for that. Four wide receivers set. Caleb Chubb in the zone and defensive tackle. Looks like Zeus Williams is at left end right now. Hall hit as he throws, and he's got his man, Prince McCutcheon, and he is in for the touchdown for Southern Utah. What a play for Prince McCutcheon. Oh, my goodness. Who is number six, and how did they get beat so badly? Just a slight delay on the thunder. Don't worry about it. And they're going to go just for the regular extra point here. It is up and good. Thunderbirds on top, 13-7. to seven.
What a game it's been so far. Feel the thunder. Yes, sir. Alright, back deep to return it is Lito Lozano, the uh, junior half. Back gets it up to the 26-yard line. See what Ashley Jackson can do on her second drive under center. She'll look to throw it on the first play. And over the middle finds her man. That's Jaquan Brown. First down up past the 40. Good game by both teams. One difference is Southern Utah moved three times down the field. UC Davis only moved one time. That is true. Southern Utah's had several pretty good drives. Jackson looking to throw it again. Deep shot left side and has Lozano, but just overthrows him. And is holding. And that is not what you want when you are you know, using your backup quarterback here. You don't want to move backwards due to penalties. High formation set for Jackson. First and 20 from the 31 yard line. Play action. Jackson finds Tyreek Taylor, who gets three or four yards off the right side. And a timeout for UC Davis. That was a pickup of three. It's second and 17 from the 34. I still don't know who had that touchdown catch for UC Davis. I have no idea. I never saw the number on the player. <laughs> High formation set again, second and 17. Play action. And Jackson to Taylor again, and he is met by Logan Tyler, his third tackle of the game. He's averaging almost 14 tackles per game and one and a half picks per game. Oh my goodness. Number one defense in the land. It's third and 19. Crowd going crazy. Jackson to throw. And that is deflected. It's picked off. Oh my goodness. That is not what you want if you are on the Aggies. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. If you're a Thunderbirds fan. Let's see, we've got the deflection here. I can't quite see the number. Number 33 deflected it. Just a bunch of non-subscriber players out here making plays. Less than a minute to go in the second quarter now. Thunderbirds in prime position to get some more points on the board before the half. All in the shotgun. To throw it. Hit as he throws, and that is caught somehow by Brandon Lee. Almost picked off by Zachary Hyde. The fullback, great awareness. Found the ball and came down with it. Shotgun set again. Harris Gurley at halfback. Ball's going to do a quick pass here, and that's caught by Alex Starr again. I believe that's his fourth reception of the game, maybe his fifth. And that brings up third and four. They are in field goal range. Who needs to win for San Diego to win? Uh, UC Davis needs to beat Southern Utah. And then uh, San Diego needs to win. And Harris Gurley is just, just absolutely eaten alive back there by Caleb Chubb. And that's a loss of two. Fourth and six coming up. And looks like the offense is still on the field for Southern Utah. Shotgun set, four receivers, Alex Starr in the slot on the bottom. All to throw it. Pressure, hit as he throws, finds Jaquan Freeman, but he does not get the first down, so a huge stop for the Aggie defense. 
keeping the score at 13 to 7. Let's see if they'll test a, a pass downfield, perhaps. Jackson looks like she will. She's in the shotgun with four receivers. Tyreek Taylor is to her left. And she will throw it. Jackson over the middle. Wide open. Little Lozano. First down inside Thunderbird territory. They got five seconds left. Obviously not in field goal range. Well, they might just take a shot deep. How is AJ playing? Uh, Owen Black was injured on his touchdown pass. And he is out for four weeks. So the rest of the regular season. Hail Mary time for Ashley Jackson from the 46-yard line. Five seconds to go in the half. High snap. Not a good start for the play. And she's going to be sacked. She fumbles the football. It's recovered by Southern Utah. And that's going to end the first half with the Thunderbirds on top. 13-7 to over the 10th-ranked UC Davis Aggies. What a play by Bennett. Number one defense in the land came to play. Our next game will help decide the Pac-10, folks. If UC Davis is able to come away with a win here tonight. Idaho State. It's not Idaho State. Hammer. Oh, my goodness. Sacramento State at San Diego. Hammer. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You have one job. Oh, how is she playing? She's playing uh, pretty good. If her offensive line could actually block for her, that might help her out just a little bit. But she did throw an interception. And here is Jaquan Brown. Another return for him up past the 20-yard line. All right, let's see what the offense can do. Two turnovers for the Aggies so far. Zero for Southern Utah. That's been the biggest difference in the ballgame. Jackson will toss it out. Lozano's going to look to throw it. And that's Ashley Jackson with the reception. Look out. Up past the 50-yard line. Oh, my goodness. The old halfback pass back to the quarterback. You'll love to see it. She was wide open. That is a thing of beauty. Don't see that too often. I formation, two tight end set. Hand it off to Lozano, and he's going to carry Audrey Ann, the big DN, for about seven yards. Actually, a pickup of eight for Lido. Really good drive so far for the Aggies, up to the 41 yard line of Southern Utah. Jackson in the shotgun. Tyreek Taylor in the zone at halfback. Got to give the big fellow the football. High snap. Jackson, quick strike. Almost picked off. Oh, my goodness. Not a good decision by the sophomore quarterback. I don't think that high snap really helped her out at all either. Third down and two, goal line set. Lito Lozano, he's got the first down and then some, and even more with a 15-yard face mask by Bryce King. That gets him the ball all the way up to the 14-yard line. Crowd going crazy. I formation set. Taylor in the zone at fullback. And she will hand it off to Lozano, and he is dropped for a loss by Adam Joseph, the big D tackle. Loss of one. Already in, you know, position to get some points. Don't have to force anything here. And there's Taylor getting that yard back, maybe two yards on the carry. And that'll bring up third down and ten. You can't force a pass here. If anything, if nobody's open, just take the sack. 
one of the toughest stadiums in the land. And she tries to hot rod a receiver here. They're not going to hear it. Jackson the throat. And she's hit as she throws, and it's almost picked off. Oh, my goodness. Bill Stevens drops the INT, and the Aggies will send on the field goal unit. Jackson was absolutely walloped. Walloped on that play. Thirty-one yard attempt by Green. He is pretty much money in his career, and he's got it. Oh, it actually oh, it looked like it bounced off the crossbar. Just hit the very far back of the stadium, and it's thirteen to ten. We got ourselves a pretty good ball game, folks. Hopefully, you guys are all enjoying it. I know I am. Top two defenses in the country facing off here tonight. Back to return is Prince McCutcheon and Jaquan Freeman. McCutcheon has a touchdown catch on the day. And they'll kick it to Freeman. And it'll be dropped. Nice tackle at the 19-yard line. Both offenses pretty even in yards. See what Hall and this offense can do as he comes out in the shotgun set with Gurley to his right. And play action, he's pressured, throws off his back foot, and it's almost picked off by Zeus Williams. My goodness gracious. Not a good decision there to throw it off your back foot, getting chased by Caleb Chubb. Howard just took off right there. Same formation, it looks like. All over the middle. That's incomplete. You cannot afford a quick three and out here. Got to get some yards. Try to get the first down. Third and ten. You don't want to give the ball right back to UC Davis, especially after a pretty good drive their last time out. Five wide receivers this time. Freeman in the zone at the top of the screen. All going to try to take off. Juice to the outside, and he's dropped short. Good stop. That was R.J. Simons, the sophomore corner, with the tackle. Aggies will get the ball back. Brazil on for the punt. And a fair catch by Brown at the 32, 33 yard line. I have yet to call Travis Owens' name in this game yet. He's been the go to guy for the Aggies receiving core this season. High snap, no direct snap to Tyreek Taylor, and Adam Joseph meets him in the lane again. Very short pickup, just two yards for Tyreek the Freak. Jackson to throw, and she is sacked instantly. Oh my goodness, the pressure got there as soon as she caught the snap, pretty much. My goodness gracious. That was Kirk on the stop. Loss of seven. Miles Dawkins, yes sir, the direct snap. The direct snap king. Third and 15, shotgun set, and a false start by the left guard. Wow. Jericho Stevens has that guard shook. He is shooketh, my friend. Third and very long for the sophomore quarterback, Ashley Jackson. Third and 20. She'll look to throw. Pressured and sacked again. Adam Joseph brings her down this time. He's got five tackles and a sack in this game. Loss of six. 
What a drive by the Southern Utah defense. Wow. Durbin, on for another punt, had a 26-yarder last time out. Going to need a better one from him here. And that was a pretty decent one up past the 45-yard line as Freeman returns it back inside Aggie territory to around the 49. Your heart can't take this game. <laughs> it is a good one. All in the shotgun. Gonna go play action. Throws off his back foot. Dar is gonna drop this one. His first drop of the game. All 24 touchdowns on the season, 15 interceptions, over 2,000 yards passing. Andrew Jackson is now in the zone at defensive end. And Hall will throw it. Oh, it's going to be sacked. Caleb Chubb gets in there. His first sack of the game. He's got six tackles, four of them for a loss, and a sack. What do you do against these defenses? I just don't know. I'm glad I don't have to play against them, that's for sure. And another third down and long. As Jackson's in the zone again at DN. Third and 16. Call to throw it. Stepping up. Finds his man. That's Brandon Lee, the fullback. And he's dropped by Zachary Pryor after a pickup of three yards. And now the Thunderbirds will punt it away again. Vonnie Williams in the chat. What's going on, Vonnie? Rooting for UC Davis. Yes, sir. You guys need him to win. And nice punt for the Thunderbirds. Fair caught at the 18-yard line by Jaquan Brown, who does have a punt return touchdown on the season. Shout out to West Dog 34 joining the Discord community. Welcome, my friend. Seven minutes left in the ball game. Ashley Jackson filling in for the injured Owen Black, looking to lead her team to a victory here tonight. And they're going to hand it off to Tyreek Taylor. Picks up three or four yards up the middle. You like NCAA 06 the best, Tyler? It is pretty good. Counter play, Lozano. Logan Tyler drops him. Big time loss for the halfback. Third down and 11 coming up. They're going to have to test him downfield. That is probably the biggest weakness the defense has for Southern Utah. CJ Moreland out for the season with injury. I would test the cornerback on the right side of the screen. Third and 11. Jackson to throw. And she will test the right side and overthrows her man. That was intended for Jaquan Brown. We're going to see another Aggie punt coming up. Durbin. And a punt from the 17. Gets it up to the 45-yard line again. Nice tackle. Oh, my goodness. And there's clipping. So a really good play for the Aggies special teams. This is everything I wanted this game to be. Top two defenses just duking it out. Low scoring affair. Pac-10 on the line. Caleb Chubb in the zone. And they'll go play action. Hall is going to be picked off. Zachary Pryor takes it away at the 45-yard line and returns it up to the 43. First mistake of the day for Hall. Great play by the defensive captain for the Aggies. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. It's 13-10, number six, Southern Utah on top of the 10th-ranked UC Davis Aggies in Cedar City, Utah.
Jackson to throw. Quick pass. And that is going to be a first down. And then some still going. Sam Gatlin, oh my goodness, up inside the 25-yard line. His first catch of the game. They are in field goal range already. Looking to tie it up. Maybe take the lead here with a touchdown. This game has been so evenly matched. I'm loving it. I formation set. Lozano is in at halfback. Tyreek Taylor at fullback. And then we'll hand it off to Lozano. And he will pick up four or five yards following Taylor. Second and six coming up. Can Ashley Jackson lead her team to a dub? Can she be great? They'll go counter play. Lozano gets the first down and more. Still going inside the five yard line. First and goal. UC Davis. They're knocking on the door. What a game this has been, guys. My goodness. Crowd going crazy. Logan Tyler is in the zone at middle linebacker. Tyreek Taylor's in the zone at halfback, and he breaks the tackle and gets dragged down at the one-yard line by Adam Joseph. Second and goal from the one, just inside the one-yard line. Goal line set, Tyreek Taylor at fullback in the zone again. And they'll go play action. Audrey Ann's going to bring down Ashley Jackson. That is a huge play. For the Thunderbird defense, they should have just kept running it. My goodness. I did not like that play call. Third down and goal from the seven. Two tight ends set. Well, they look to find Nicholas Warner here. They will, but it's deflected away. Huge stop for the Thunderbirds. The Aggies had it inside the one-yard line, and now they're going to have to attempt a field goal to tie it up. Not a very good throw from Jackson. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. But they will go for the tie here with Green coming out to kick it. One for one in the game, long of 32. And the field goal is up and good. We got ourselves a tie ball game at 13 apiece. 4.09 left in the game. And the stadium is shaking here in Cedar City, Utah, folks. Can the Thunderbirds respond? Can they rebound after throwing that INT their last time out? Here is the kick return. Jaquan Freeman just going to kneel it down in the end zone, start this drive at their own 20 yard line. 408 left in the game, guys. Pack 10 on the line. Two tight ends set for Hall. Out of the shotgun. Cameron Matthews is in at halfback. They'll give it to him. And the junior gets the first down. And then some picks up 13 yards. I believe that's his first carry of the ball game. Tell the kicker to calm down with that celebration. He was excited, man. He tied the game up. You leave Dave alone. <laughs> Caleb Chubb in the zone at deep tackle. Harris Gurley in there at halfback now on the shotgun. And Hall looks to throw. He's going to go quarterback draw instead. First down and then some still going. Look out. Hall inside Aggie territory. What a run. He's up to 58 yards in the game. How did he squeeze through there? My goodness gracious. What a play. I'd say they need about... 13, maybe 14 yards for a field goal. 
Around 50 yards would be the ideal range. Hall hands it off to Gurley, and he is decapitated by Caleb Chubb. Oof, my goodness gracious. That's Andre the Giant versus uh, Rey Mysterio right there. Or Hornswoggle. Loss of one in the place. Second down and 11 coming up. All going to hand it off again to Gurley. Gurley has the first down, but he coughs it up. And it's recovered by UC Davis. Demarcus Webb falls on it. What a turn of events. Oh my goodness. The Aggies with 305 left in the game have a chance here. That was RJ Simons, the sophomore corner. Forcing the fumble. Oh my goodness. What a play. And the fact that Demarcus Webb, the defensive end, was all the way downfield, showing some hustle, getting that fumble recovery. That was amazing. Jackson out of the shotgun. Play action. And she will throw it. Quick strike. That's caught by 84. I'm not sure who that is. Non-subscriber player. That's Williams. And a first down for the Aggies. Jackson, four receiver set. 2.50 to go in the game. Quick strike, left side, caught by Jaquan Brown, maybe five yards on the catch. Time for Jackson to start a legacy. Yes, sir. Jackson to throw it again. Over the middle, she's picked off. Logan Tyler's got it. Stiff arms the defender. Logan Tyler down the sideline. It's a pick six for Southern Utah. Unbelievable. They get the lead on a pick six from the star of their defense. Oh my goodness gracious. The hops on that man. The stiff arm on Tyreek Taylor. And high steps his way in for the leading touchdown with 2.19 to go. Oh my goodness. Wow, <laughs> what a play from Logan Tyler. Extra point, up and good, it's 20 to 13. Still plenty of time for Jackson and the Aggies offense. Ohio Stars are heavily interested in drafting Caleb Chubb and Andrews. I like it. This game is nuts. Yes, sir. All right, let's see how Ashley Jackson will respond after throwing a pick six. A touchdown the wrong way, folks. Here is Lito Lozano on the return, and he gets up past the first wave and gets up to the 28. Team still really even, plays and yards. Jackson under center. She's gonna hand it off to Wyatt Geddes, his first carry of the game. He's gonna lose two or three yards. Logan Tyler on the stop. He's been really quiet this game up until that interception. Jackson to throw. She's going to try to take off instead. And she is dropped at the 29-yard line. Bill Stevens on the stop. They're down to nine coming up. With just 145 remaining in the game. Aggies two for eight on third downs. Logan Tyler is in the zone. Do not throw it his way. Jackson, left side. Man, wide open. And it's dropped by Lito Lozano. And that'll bring up fourth down and nine. Wow. Unbelievable.
Play the game right here. Fourth and nine from the 29. Logan Tyler still in the zone. Jackson to throw. Over the middle. It's caught. Lito Lozano. He's going to fumble the football, though. And Bill Stevens has it. And there's no flag on the field. The Thunderbirds take over after the forced fumble. Who forced it? Bryce King forces the fumble. Bill Stevens recovers the Thunderbirds. They still have to get a first down here to try to run this clock out. Oh my goodness gracious, two straight takeaways for the Thunderbird defense. Logan Tyler gets play of the game for the Thunderbirds. RJ Simons play of the game for the Aggies. Very fitting that both players of the game will be defenders. Southern Utah needs a first down to put it away. And here's Harris Gurley. He is met by Zeus Williams after one yard. First time out of the game, or of the half rather, for the Aggies. Guys, I'm, I'm losing my voice. I'm losing it. I'm a bit parched right now. Andrew Jackson and Caleb Chubb in the zone for the Aggies on that defensive line. And here's Harris Gurley. That's game, folks. Harris Gurley, he might be gone. Oh, my goodness. All the way down to the nine-yard line. Makes up for that fumble that he coughed up earlier in the quarter. They are in field goal range. He is just taunting right in front of Andrew Jackson. That is just disrespectful. Best play of the game for Harris Gurley. Stiff arms. Trey Henry the third. How often do you see that? Almost never. With a win in this game, Southern Utah will walk away with the Pac-10 title. And they're going to hand it off to Jaquan Freeman up the middle. Up to the seven-yard line. Tough loss. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it was really rough. As soon as uh, Owen Black went down, it just put the Aggies into a hole. I mean, Ashley Jackson came in. She played pretty well. Uh, threw a couple picks, though. Just a really tough situation for her to come in and try to try to lead the team to, to a win in a very crucial game. And here is Harris Gurley. He's in for the touchdown. And there it is, folks. Southern Utah are going to be your Pac-10 champions here in Season 3 of the FCS Dynasty as they are about to defeat the UC Davis Aggies. Third different Pac-10 champion. Yes, sir. Who won at season one? That was Cal Poly. Uh, last season was UC Davis, and now this season, Southern Utah. Who's going to be next season? Northern Colorado? San Diego? Who's it going to be? 27-13 is the score. 108 left in the game. Really good game, though. Really good game. I do appreciate everybody stopping by the stream. Still going to be having another one tonight after I get home from work around 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, most likely. It's going to be the San Diego Toreros taking on the Sacramento State Hornets in that one, which no longer has any meaning towards the Pac-10 championship, but, you know, still should be a good game. Here is Jaquan Brown from the goal line, and gets it up to the 22. Not over yet, clock hasn't hit triple zeros. That is true. Jackson to throw, pressure, hit as she throws, finds Sam Gatlin on the screen pass. And he's going to carry Bryce King for a pickup of seven yards, just his second catch of the game. Jackson looking to throw again over the middle, finds Jaquan Brown, and he just escapes that defender, gets up to midfield. Ten hurries, four sacks, two INTs for the Thunderbird defense tonight. Jackson pressured, and that is incomplete. Luckily, it wasn't a fumble. Right. 
San Diego Game still has importance. Second place. Oh, how exciting. Jackson over the middle. Oh, my goodness gracious. Almost picked off again. Third down and ten coming up from midfield. It's a nice time for Jackson to come in here and get some learning experience, though, against a really quality opponent. She looks to throw it again. Hit as she throws. Finds Brown again at the sticks. And they'll give him the first down. She's definitely stood, uh, stood tall there under pressure in the pocket. And here she goes on the option and gets another first down. She is looking a little tired out there now. Option again. Jackson pitches it out. Tyreek Taylor has the pitch up to the 20-yard line. Second down and two coming up. And it looks like they'll just keep running this option play. Logan Tyler's in the zone. Oh my goodness, she got the pitch out to Tyreek Taylor. And he gets dropped at the one-yard line. I don't think they're going to get another playoff. But what an effort here on their final drive. And that is the game, folks. Congratulations to Southern Utah head coach Noah Regear, quarterback Nicholas Hall, and the rest of the Thunderbirds on winning their first Pac-10 title in school history. Big time win here against the Aggies. who are number 10 coming into this game. What a game this was. Great effort from Ashley Jackson trying to fill in for Owen Black. Just wasn't enough. The defense for Southern Utah was just too strong. Wesley Garber in the chat. What's up, Wesley? How you doing, buddy? Really good game, guys. My goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. Teams are very close in yards and plays. Their down percentage was pretty much around the same. Four turnovers for the Aggies. That was the biggest difference. Jackson came in. She threw two interceptions. They had a couple fumbles. Imagine if that was a touchdown, right? They get a touchdown. Get a quick onside kick with one second left. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the losing team first. Owen Black, he threw one pass today. It was a 47-yard touchdown. 824.8 quarterback rating. Unbelievable. Jackson, 12 of 22, 139 yards, two picks, sacked four times. Taylor, 69 yards, Lozano at 37, Black at 14. So he really only played, what, two plays for the most part. Fumble for Lozano, fumble for Jackson. Brown led the team in catches with four at 49 yards. Lozano at 47. Gallon 27. And the touchdown was to Heath McKinley, the backup tight end. Oh, my goodness. So Nicholas Warner did not get a reception here today. All right, RJ Simons led the team in tackles with seven. Caleb Chubb also at seven. Huntsberger with five. Zachary Hyde, Zeus Williams both had four. Everett Garrison with three. Pryor had three. Henry had two. Elijah Christian had two. Andrew Jackson only had one. Demarcus Webb had the fumble recovery. That was it. Caleb Chubb, five tackles for a loss. What a beast. Interception for Pryor. Three deflections for the defense. Four fumble for Simons. Recovered by Webb. Dave Green, two of two field goals. One of one extra points. And four kickoffs, one touchback. Durbin, he's not really that good. <laughs> That's all there is to say about him. All right, Southern Utah, Nicholas Hall, 11 of 18, 146 yards, one touchdown, one pick today, sacked one time, long of 42. He also led the team in rushing with 58 yards. Gurley had 57 with a touchdown. Matthews, two carries, 13 yards. Freeman had two yards rushing. Brandon Lee had one. And two broken tackles. Alex Starr led the team in catches and yards. No, actually just catches. 453. Prince McCutcheon had 59 yards and a touchdown along with 42. One drop for Dar. Brandon Red allowed a sack from the right guard spot. Bryce King, nine tackles. Adam Joseph was seven from the defensive tackle spot. Get out of here. Logan Tyler was six. Adrienne had three and a sack. Joseph also had a sack. Bill Stevens had three tackles.
Manuel Wise also had a tackle. Eight tackles for loss for the defense. Four sacks, all by different players. Two interceptions, one for Logan Tyler. 54-yard pick six. That was, that was the game changer right there. That is why he's the impact player. All right, a couple of forced fumbles here for Bryce King and Aaron Bennett, recovered by Bill Stevens and Aaron Bennett. And the pick six, of course. Ryan Johnson, still perfect on the season. I believe he's 10 of 10. Juan Freeman with a 36-yard punt return today. And that is it for this one, guys. What a game. Simons, Pryor, and McKinley, players of the game for the Aggies. Logan Tyler, Aaron Bennett, Bryce King, players of the game for Southern Utah. Our next game, which will be tonight around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Forget about it saying Idaho State because it's Sacramento State. But it's the 6-4 and four Sacramento State Hornets traveling to take on their in-state rivals, the 24th-ranked San Diego Toreros. Looking forward to that game. Toreros, with a win, will get second place in the Pac-10. Falling just short of the Pac-10 title to the Southern Utah Thunderbirds, who are now 10-2 on the season. Their regular season is over. We'll be seeing them in a bowl game. I'm not sure what bowl game. I don't think it's going to be the national championship game. I just I don't think everybody in front of them is going to lose and allow them to get up there. But most likely we'll be seeing them in the Rose Bowl, taking on the Big Ten champions unless the Big Ten champions are in the national championship game then we'll see the Big Ten well, I think the second second place team out of the Big Ten but that is it for this stream guys hope you enjoyed the two games so far today uh, go ahead and slap the like button on your way out of the stream subscribe if you're new and join our discord community to get your college football career started in season four of our FCS dynasty there's a link in the description below I'll see you guys tonight around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the 24th ranked San Diego Toreros. Take it easy, guys.